I want to check out this new product that shows where you're striking your ball called Strike Spray. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just bought this. It's Strike Spray. I'm kind of putting that dramatic pause in the end in case Strike Spray wants to use my voice. Listen, this little bottle of spray is actually something that I think could be really useful because a lot of times when you go to the driving range, you want to know where on the club face you are hitting your ball, right? I have this old driver right here and you want to be able to see if you're hitting it on the toe or the heel or high or low. You know, you always want to get your shots right in the sweet spot there. and this allows you to do it with any club now they also sell some stickers that you can put on your club they just have never seemed to work that well for me so i thought the spray would be an easy way to quickly spray any club from driver to irons to wedges and just see where you're hitting it now this spray is designed specifically for this purpose with golf clubs now i was watching rick shields and he was suggesting just using foot spray and because I have stinky feet, of course I've got a can of this. Actually, I bought a brand new can of Dr. Scholl's just for this experiment. Because I actually think that if it's formulated for golf clubs, that it might be better because it might go on a little thicker, it might be a little easier to clean off, as opposed to something like this, which might go on a little thinner, maybe it's actually supposed to be kind of invisible, so it might be hard to see, and because you don't want it to come off that easily, maybe it's actually kind of hard to rub off. So. We are going to see what's easier to apply, what shows the ball strike really well, and what's easier to clean off. All right, so I'm gonna apply both of them to the golf club. I'm actually gonna try wiping it off first with a dry towel, which is something we might all have, and just see how well that removes both of the sprays. And then I also have some wet towels, which we will use in case the dry towels aren't quite enough. So I've got my old driver here, just a Callaway ERC, and it's got kind of a standard driver face. There are some tiny grooves here on the side. That'll be kind of an interesting test as well. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try the Dr. Scholl's Odorex and just spray it on here and see how well this works. Okay, I actually don't have to spray that much. It might be a little hard to see, but <coughs> ah. That is not glare. <laughs> that has really covered this thing almost like white paint. So that is kind of interesting. I thought it might go on a little thinner, especially when I've seen uh, other YouTubers uh, spraying it onto their clubs. It seems like they have to spray a lot, but this particular one, this Odor X Ultra Odor Fighting Spray Powder is quite thick. In fact, there's a little area where I've got to run on it. Like on my pantyhose. And I've got some of the overspray on the top here. You can kind of see it when I drag my finger through it. All right, so seems to dry pretty quickly. You can see it on my hands. And we will hit some golf balls with this and see what it looks like. And you can see here that I hit the ball a little high up there, but I have no problems identifying where it is because of the lighting in here. It's kind of reflecting off and giving me a little glare, but no problem seeing the strike on that one. And the last question we want to answer with this is how easily does it come off? So I've got a dry towel here and I'm just going to kind of wipe it off. Ooh, it gets kind of chalky and it's kind of getting all over my hands. And it's not the easiest thing, but it's not the hardest thing either. You can see it kind of got on my hosel and in those little cracks and crevices, it's a little hard to get off. I will also say here on the plastic hosel right there, on the ferrule or whatever they call it it's kind of even on the top surface it's kind of left a little bit of a white residue so i'm not really thrilled by that the other thing i will say is you can see in those grooves there it is in there really well in fact if i kind of get my fingernail in there i can clean them out these grooves were not white before they were black so you can see that kind of need to do that to get them out all right so I'm going to go over to the wet cloth here to see if that's any better as I kind of try to get all this stuff out. Okay. And on the ferrule down here, see if that helps. All right. So that seems to have corrected the white residue that I thought might be more of a permanent issue on the black plastic on the hosel and it seems to be coming out of the grooves a little bit easier with the wet cloth. Okay, 
So I would say that it's not the easiest thing to clean up with just a dry towel. So if you are at the driving range, you spray this on your clubs and you're using your golf towel to kind of wipe them down, you're probably gonna have to do a more thorough cleaning job when you get home. Uh, that's a little disappointing because sometimes you wanna hit the range or something immediately afterwards. All right, let's try the other sprays. Okay, so let's try the strike spray and see if this is formulated specifically for golf clubs. I'm gonna just go ahead and spray it on here. Okay, it comes out actually almost a little like paint as well. It doesn't have that odor eaters smell to it, but man, that comes out quick and it has really painted the face of this club white, as you might be able to see here. And I've got some more spray on the hosel and the shaft and oh my gosh, a bunch on the top here. So I'm just going to kind of let that dry a little bit and then we'll hit some golf balls with it and see what it looks like. And hitting the ball with the strike spray, you can see there chipped away a circle of strike spray right in the center, by the way. And so no problem seeing where you hit with that either. All right, let's see if this is any easier to clean up than the Odor X. Now I'm going to start with a dry paper towel, which is to simulate the equipment that you might have. I will say as I'm just touching it, it's actually a little bit easier to remove it just kind of falls away now up here where i've got a really thick coat of it unfortunately it does come off pretty easily again it's a little chalky but uh it actually seems to wipe off a little easier than the odorex the foot spray i will say i have the same issue it's in the grooves you know it's no problem to get it out of there with my fingernail or anything and it's in the grooves on the ferrule there and again kind of the same deal where it is sprayed on the black plastic it's given it a little bit of like this dusty white look but on the rest of the club it actually seems to come off pretty easily with just a dry paper towel now I will say that I kind of expect the wet towel to take the rest of it off pretty quickly Okay, so, and again, even the plastic ferrule down there looks just fine, so it's not dying anything in particular, you know, it's not permanent. And I would also say it's actually, just with the wet paper towel, it's kind of dissolved it pretty well, and it's kind of come out of the grooves. So that's actually another thing that I think is an improvement, where the Odor X or the foot spray is maybe supposed to absorb moisture and actually stick on your foot. This maybe is supposed to actually clean up because now I haven't even gone in there with my fingernail to try to clean out those grooves, but a wet towel here seems to have gotten all that off. So I think maybe it's designed to kind of dissolve with water, which would make a lot of sense, you know, because we don't want it to be permanent. So I actually like it. Okay, so conclusion time here. How easy is it to apply either of these? Now, they're both pretty easy to apply, but I would say that it seems to me that the strike spray goes on with more thickness. And so I think you can use it a little bit more sparingly. With the Dr. Scholl's, I actually had to kind of spray it and you know do a little painting of the surface. So even though they're the same size, I think you actually might get more out of the strike spray. So that's a win for the strike spray. In terms of seeing where your ball strike is, both of them work just fine and I would call that a tie. And then for cleanup, I would actually say the strike spray has the advantage because it seems like using that wet paper towel got rid of all of the remnants of the strike spray. Whereas in the grooves and whatnot, I really had to kind of get my fingernail in there to do a little bit more cleanup of it. And as I mentioned, I think foot spray is maybe supposed to resist moisture and humidity and those types of things and be a little harder to remove. So I think that's another advantage. So two out of the three categories, I think the strike spray is better, but they both will work. Now here is where I think you have to think about, is it worth it? Strike spray is about $10 a can for 4.8 ounces. And this Dr. Scholl's can, 4.7 ounces, was under $5. So it's about half the cost of this one. But I think this will go a little further. I think it's a little more convenient to apply and to remove. And so you'll have to make the decision whether that's enough reason for you to pick it up. But if you are interested in this or this, I'll put links to both in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.